Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com and I got a great question about hiking, which is one of my favorite things to do when I have spare time, which lately hasn't been as often as I like, but I love to get outside and walk. If I can, I love to jump on over to the forest and hike, especially with my bare feet touching the ground with my dog. And so um, the question was about hiking. What is the best way to train for hiking? Okay, and so there's an easy answer and then there's a answer that you're probably actually looking for. The easy answer is what is the best way to train for hiking, backpacking, long distances? Well, the answer is simple. Go hike, go backpack, do it for long distances. That way your body adapts to that stimulus. Now, if you're thinking about going on 20 miles a day, five day trip, then you might wanna start training right now by throwing some weight in a backpack, getting used to that backpack. Make sure you buy a good one with the waist strap so it doesn't put all the pressure on your shoulders and wreck your posture, right? Um, and start training with that backpack. Walk two, three, four, five miles a day. Vary the intensity. So some days you might do one, some days you might do five. Vary it up and down and listen to your body. That's a great way to train for hiking, for backpacking. Now, if you simply want to build the strength that it takes to be better at hiking, then what I recommend are two things, okay? Number one, hill sprints for volume, okay? So find a good hill around your house, right? and then pick out about 100 meters or somewhere around that range, sprint up as hard as you can, walk down, rest about three minutes between each sprint, but see how much volume you can get done. So don't just do three sprints on this one. You might think about doing more like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You might spend an hour on the hill doing just sprints. But if your goal is backpacking better, those sprints are gonna carry over to backpacking. The next is a strength exercise that a lot, a lot of people don't do, and that is the step up. Okay, so put a big step in front of you and do barbell or dumbbell step ups. Again, I would probably do it for higher reps, somewhere in the 15, 20 rep range. And I would do multiple sets for volume. So you build that ability to do large steps over a long period of time. And I would do them all on one leg than the other leg because that's gonna be way more fatiguing in the gym. So that way when you're out there hiking up trees and boulders and pathways and whatnot, that you don't get fatigued quite as quickly. So. That's what I would do. I would go out there on a hike. I'd put a backpack with some weight in it. I'd get a good backpack first, right? Then I would do some hill sprints, more for volume, making sure to rest enough in between. We're not doing hill runs, we're doing hill sprints, right? And then I would do step ups. And I would add as much weight as I could for maybe three to five sets of 20 reps each leg. All right, that's how I would train for backpacking. That's how you should train for backpacking. If you guys dig this video, click the like button right there so I can help more people learn more about how to train right, how to train at home, and how to live the warrior lifestyle. Thanks for watching.